So welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a follow-up video to the pizza episode, which was uh, started out as a bit of a debacle. And I learned some things, and I wanted to share that with you in this video. Uh, first of all, on a personal note, um, I've learned that I don't handle stress very well anymore. I mean, for six years now, I haven't had that much stress to deal with. And my entire life was stressful. I mean, from when I was a little kid, growing up in adulthood, and working and working in two, three jobs, and my life was stress, except I handled it really well. I mean, it was typical to have my life full of calamities and disasters, and I would, I would juggle those things. And um, it's part of what made me kind of a business star is my ability to be able to do that. You know, the calm ship in the ocean of storms. Well, it was a little different ball game, ordering pizzas. <laughs> now, the idea was to have these particular pizzas that are known pizzas to be pretty good favorites of a lot of people here in Armenia and um, try them out see you know see which is the best one and as a topper to throw in something like dominoes which we consider kind of yeah towards the bottom of the food chain something you grab although they have reformulated and they've improved i mean you got to give them that but you know so that was the concept and it was to be a little fun little tongue-in-cheek well, I go to order the pizzas, and I'm on the apps to order the pizza, and I get through the first one, and it's all set. We're doing pepperoni on half because we got a couple non-meat eaters. And so um, here we go. So I get ready, and I hit order, and big thing comes up. Can't fulfill the order because the place just closed. Now, this was 5 o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> now, I realize COVID is having its effect, but that was bizarre. Okay, so let me go to the next one. So I go to the next one, and I go through the order, and guess what? That one was closed too. Okay, so two of the four are down, and one of those four will be dominoes. All right, so let me keep going. Well, problem here, problem there. There was one out of four that I could actually get. And it was a, re whoops. And it was a relatively new place just about a block from me called Basilico. Um, the rustic Italian pizzas is kind of the, the, you know, the promo for it. And so we ordered that one up. Domino's, for some reason, their app said, well, you're out of our delivery area. I, I mean, <laughs> how am I out of your delivery area? I'm just like 10 blocks from you. But that's what it said. Couldn't order it through their app. But Rappi has Domino's and, you know, they'll deliver anywhere. I could order something in Medellin and they'll bring it here if I want to pay for it. So anyway, so I go to the Rappi app and I, you know, I start entering in an order and it says uh, not available, not available. Look through the rest of the menu. Every single item on the menu is not available. Well, I don't know what's going on at Domino's, but now that one's out the window. Oh, yeah, Papa John's just opened a place here in Armenia like a month and a half ago. And I'd ordered one not long ago and was hugely disappointed. Now, one of the best pizzas in Cuenca, Ecuador is actually the Papa John's there, which the way it's made in Cuenca was outstanding. It was really good pizza. I know, you're laughing at me, but I'm telling you, there's variations. Well, the one here is nothing like the one there. And the one here, well, it was in that video, right? Um, it was the best of the worst <laughs> for a lot of people. So, yeah. so I got all this stress, you know. It's like I got a, a total of five orders coming. I've got people coming. It's like running up and down. I'm, I'm having to find new places for pizza, and I don't know where am I going to get it. I'm running into problems there. A little thing that in the past would have been, <laughs> so what? I was freaking out. I was about to have a heart attack. 
It was not fun. So, you know, I learned something new that um, I guess handling stress is like any other kind of exercise. If you don't keep up with it, you're going to suck at it. But I'm kind of liking the not having the stress. I'm getting used to it. So, um, yeah. All right. What else we got here? Okay, but there were some other things I was able to take away, aside from it being all about me, was some things about the style of what people care for here in Armenia. First of all, I think the number one consideration is probably cheese. If it's the right cheese, if it's got enough cheese, the rest of it doesn't matter. Now, most people that... Uh, really know about pizza, I mean, the first thing is going to be the crust. You know, how is that crust? And, you know, the second thing will be the sauce. I mean, and then the quality of the ingredient. Well, here, crust is no more than the plate that it's serving the cheese on. <laughs> that's that's the idea. And I have to tell you that the crusts on two of those pizzas, it was, it was, a sad state of affairs, I mean, to be nice about it. They were ultra thin, but they weren't thin like crispy. They were thin like wet spaghetti. And when you look at it, you see some little marks of a little bit of brown, but essentially it, it was barely browning and it was pulled out of the oven. It should have been in there, you know, for a little bit more time. And, you know, you could, would have got something crispy, but no, it was basically underdone. And that's, I have to tell you, aside from these pizzas, that tends to be a theme. One of the things I like about Domino's, they cook the crust properly. Another thing about the crust on two of these was that, you know how you want a, a pull to it? You, it, it, it uh, you're basically, you're kneading it enough to get those glutens going, and, you know, you get a pull to the crust. Well, this crust and on, on, uh, your run-of-the-mill pizzas is like it's more like bread you know it just it just doesn't have that pull that a good crust will carry now as for the sauces the sauces were pretty bland I'd go so far as to say they were probably flavorless now, the exception to what I said about the crust and the sauce was the Basilico, the one near me. Now, that was the most expensive, and it was the smallest pizza. You didn't get to order a size. You just ordered a pizza. It was not very big. Uh, but it had a lot of good flavor. Uh, they put a fair amount of basil on it, and the pepperoni was of good quality, unlike the one from La Pizzeria, I mean, it, it was almost rancid. It was so greasy. It, it just had this foul taste. Uh, the Basilica was a very high quality. The dough was kind of uh, that chewy pull to it. The dough had flavor to it. You could almost get that yeasty flavor. So all of that was really good, and it received a couple votes in our group of eight. Um, I was on the fence. I, I, I kind of flip a coin. If And if we had that one maybe fresher, that was the first one to arrive. That was another thing. They had rapid service. First one to arrive. So before we ate it, it was like almost an hour later. You know, so you have to take that into effect. If you take that into effect, that could very well have been the best of the four. Um, now, I mentioned cheese and I have to kind of go off track a little bit here and just talk about the love of cheese in Colombia and, of course, here in Armenia, Colombia. They'll put cheese on anything. you got cheese in the bread, the pan de bono. You've got uh, cheese in your hot chocolate. Yes, melty, gooey, stretchy mozzarella cheese in your hot chocolate. That's a thing. You got 
cheese on your hamburger so you get your cheeseburger okay that's great so you put a little more cheese on it that's even better how about we just smother it in cheese on top of the cheese inside of it well then that makes it the best not necessarily the quality of the beef but the, it's it's all about the cheese which is kind of fascinating to me. I mean, I get it. We all focus on certain things about, you know, what we like and what's important. To them, it's the cheese. I mean, seriously, what do you give the cheeseburger that has everything? More cheese. Okay, so what do I have to say about pizzas in Armenia? The run-of-the-mill pizza that you just, you know, if you just just grab it nothing special kind of sucks the crust will be mostly flavorless and i found this with other pizzas i mean i have to say so you got that the sauce it's a transport vehicle for cheese and any toppings that you might want however there are pizzas that are more um i would say positioned more internationally positioned more italian like this basilico there and there are others that i uh, wish we could have ordered intended to that are actually quite good there are some very good pizzas but those pizzas tend to be high end like i said that basilica was a lot smaller and it was almost double the price of the of the low end pizza so is there good pizza? Yes, there's good pizza. And one of my discoveries was that Domino's, for whatever reason, here in Armenia, is actually pretty good pizza. I also discovered that Papa John's, which is outstanding in Cuenca, kind of sucks here in Armenia. Although it got local people, Spanish-speaking people here in Armenia, it got their vote with the exception of one who voted for the very first one. It was good quality, crisp up really good, so it was like pepperoni chips. Uh, of course, it had the bland uh, sauce and the crust. And But remember, that's just a serving plate for whatever topping you like. And if you like crispy pepperoni, I could see where that would be the first one. All right, so that's what I got to say about that pizza video and everything that came to mind as a result of it. I'll see you soon. Watch for Coffee Time Live. Got a couple features, and we're going to try to turn into weekly shows. I hope you take a look at those. Just trying out this subtitle thing.